Hey YouTube, Shukun Shinobi here. Vlog time. Yes, Doctor Who item. Uh, no, I'm not going to be reviewing it, but uh, I did pick this up about a month or so ago because I have started watching Doctor Who from the beginning of the Revival series. So that's really fun. If you haven't uh, checked that out, I do recommend checking that out because it is a very, very good show. So yeah, uh, Ami Ami box arrived. Uh, there is an Oki box on the way. Don't know when it's going to get here because I still haven't paid for it yet. But, um, yeah, that'll get here at some point. Not entirely sure when, but, uh, that's just basically, um, a Kiva belt I rebought, uh, the Dog a Hammer, and a Tatsalot that I, I sold my last one because I knew I was getting this one, so. Um, but yeah, that's all here, and that was going to be mostly just figure arts for the rest of the stuff as far as I'm aware. So, yeah, pretty expensive month last month that I really wasn't aware of being so expensive, but it was. Um, but yeah, everything's sorted out for the most part-ish, and uh, we'll see how those work later. So, yeah, Ami Ami Box, there really isn't anything else I have to say before that, besides hope you guys enjoyed Greed Week in honor of Halloween and all that fun stuff. So they all got reviewed. In fact, they're right behind my camera right now, uh, chilling out, being all cool, uh, playing some b-ball outside of the school. A couple of guys were up to no good. Started making trouble in their neighborhood. That must be edgy, the guy that started trouble. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know all, all but maybe three or so of those are very old toys, but uh, just something I really wanted to do, and I hope I can get to a lot more of my backlog Tamaji Web exclusive figures uh, over the course of the next couple months. So, Basically, the stuff in here will get reviewed in November slash very early December. It might be review a day for the rest of the month. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't worked it out yet because uh, the Oki box getting so delayed because of my financial flip-flopping and everything um, caused a little bit of a damper in my schedule, so I needed to switch some things around. Again, I don't know. Uh, if it's going to be a review a day or not, but uh, hopefully come December, things will quiet down and we can start spacing out these reviews a little bit more. Because basically my goal is to be able to do a review about every other day or so, and then have like one day dedicated to doing a backlog review, so like a Sunday or something maybe. Um, do like retro Sunday or whatever, and uh, put up a backlog review of an old Tamashii Web exclusive I haven't done, or a Henshin Belt, or anything that's on my list on my blog that I haven't done yet that I do want to do. So my goal is to maybe do two or three new reviews a week and one retro review a week, and uh, hopefully start pushing some of that out. But again, it, it really varies on how many new items are in the month. Um... These next couple of months are going to be pretty quiet, but come Kyoto Yuger in February, you're going to be pushing a lot of items out. So uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, I'm not really too sure what's going on. Another thing is Tamashi Web exclusives. Yes, I do have that full backlog that I'm going to get to, but new items. Um, Gavin was the last figure art I pre-ordered. Anything after that, I have not pre-ordered. Um, basically, because of the way the secondary market works, um, aka Mandarake having everything for pretty much lower than retail cost on Tamashii Web, uh, plus Bluefin does manage to snag a couple of the releases here or there, uh, basically, I'm not buying Tamashii Web exclusives day one anymore. There are certain exceptions, like I'm considering nabbing Ryuga, uh, just because I don't know how his secondary market value is going to be. And then some big items, like uh, if they make anything like Power Dizer and stuff again, I might pick up just because some of the larger items, like the Double Chaser from Tiger and Bunny, uh, the horses from Garo that I still haven't got to, uh, those guys don't seem to go down in market value that much. So I'm going to probably snag those right off the bat, give or take, and... Uh, Plus, Mandrake's EMS shipping is kind of crazy. I'd rather just go through Oki for that. But basically what I'm saying is that it's not really too big of a surprise because I don't usually get to Tamashii Web exclusives anymore anyway. 
But um, they'll be a lot slower than the retail releases. I am still buying all of the retail releases, and I will review all of the retail releases the month or the month after their release because that's how shipping works. So uh, just letting you guys know about that, that I will not be purchasing them right away. I still do plan on getting all of them. It took a lot of debating in my mind. I was really close to not buying figure arts anymore. But the huge collection I have is just something that I can't really try to sell or uh, stop. Just because it's something that really uh, impresses me and it makes me happy. Because uh, I do enjoy collecting. So basically what happened was I decided to continue to buy figure arts. Cut off the limited exclusive ones. Get those on the secondary market. And uh, cut back on some of the other toy lines I get to save some monies. So, uh, it's nothing, none of the stuff I review is really getting cut. I'm more talking about some of the casual toy lines I collect. So, uh, enough rambling and onto the box. Uh, we do have the golden ticket. I moved and that white balance went nuts. Paper. Okay. So, um, okay, I need to show this, just because this is nuts. Okay, so right here is items, and then all the way up here is items. Everything else is padding. Honestly, Ami Ami, I don't mind my items getting banged up a little bit if it means cheaper shipping costs. Just saying. But anyway, uh, we have Flame Dragon, Vinyl. I haven't figured out how I'm doing this guy yet. The Dragon styles all come out monthly, and so I might just do them all individually, maybe? I don't know. Do you guys want to see him individually? Let me know. Um, I did get Shider and Sheravan's vinyls, um, even though I don't have Gavin's vinyl. Uh, CS Toys does still have them, and I'm just going to go ahead and go pick them up from there. Just haven't had a chance to. So, uh, these guys are here. Once I pick up Gavin, I'll do a review on all three of them, but that probably won't be until next month. Um, ring set one is here. You going to white balance? There you go. Uh, the sleep and connect rings. Plus a Gomride card, because those are always cool. So those are here. I did not get a Flame Dragon set from Ami Ami. There is one on the way from CS Toys. So uh, be on the lookout for that. That will get here probably in about a week or so. Roughly. Something like that. And uh, so that will get here then, and I'll go ahead and review it. It's a little bit lower on my review schedule, just to give it a little bit of buffering time. Uh, the WAP Series 01. Flame style. Uh, I will review him. I have not decided if I'm going to buy completely into the WAP series or not. Um, but given how much fun I'm having with the module change series toys, I wanted to give this one a chance and uh, just kind of see how he works and everything. Um, if you guys do want to see a full WAP review, let me know because I'm actually getting to the point where I can probably afford to buy into this line and the figure arts line. So let me know. And, uh, I'll try to pick up the other WAPs. WAP, WAP. Um, figure arts wise, we got Xeranos and Wild Tiger Movie Edition. Because, you know, we need another goddamn Wild Tiger. But, um, yeah, this annoys me to no end. But there's Family Mart. I found a Family Mart when we were in California. Uh, there was a Family Mart next to one of the Anime Jungle stores. That was really cool. I wanted to see if they would sponsor me. Uh, a deck box with Wizard on it, and then his styles on the back. Um, I bought it simply because I wanted to use it as a Pokemon deck box, because I love Wizard that much. So, uh, that actually held up my order for like a week almost. So, that's... I'm always buying some stupid thing that isn't part of my normal toy collecting, and it always pushes my friggin' items back like a week. It's really crazy. Uh, the sword gun is here, so we can finally do Hurricane and Lando. Uh, that is being reviewed quicker than everything else, I believe. This is next on the list uh, after 
Um, a couple older items. So Greed Week just finished. I'm going to put up Magnet State's FMCS next. And then I think the per super best deck of driver. That'll give me enough time to film some of this stuff. <laughs> and then last but certainly not least, an item that uh, Big Trans fans probably going to kill me over. And that's fine. I don't mind death. Um, the LBX Pandora Limited Edition. Um, it was through Bandai Collector's Shop. Is there a logo for Bandai Collector's Shop on here anywhere? No. Nope. But it was... Uh, Collector's Shop exclusive, I believe. Um, Premium Bandai. Yep, yeah, Premium Bandai. Uh, so that is here. Basically, this is the normal Pandora that Ami used in the original show was pink after uh, it got customized after she received it. Uh, this is the original white version that... Um, God, what's his name? I forgot what his name is, that one guy's brother. I'm horrible. Uh, had when he was using it. And then once uh, the pink, reddish Pandora gets uh, pwned in the double series, uh, Ami uses the white version. And I much prefer the white version to the pink slash red version. Uh, so I went ahead and picked that up in favor of trying to hunt down the normal Pandora. So... Uh, very, very cool model kit. Um, glad I actually have something to build because I just finished building Sea Serpent the other day. Uh, so my LBX collection consists of Sea Serpent, Nightmare, uh, Triton, Hakayo Z or Z or whatever, uh, Vampire Cat, and Hunter plus Pandora. So uh, very cool figures. If you love model kits, they're very easy to build. Um, they're actually really articulate. Um, they remind me of the very, very basic grade Gundam models I used to build when Gundam Wing was airing on TV. Um, so I would do definitely recommend checking those out. Um, plus the show, um, I'll include links to the double subs in my description box because I can't remember it offhand. Um, and I can't remember for the life of me who dubbed the or who subbed the original show it is licensed in America but um, we haven't really caught word on that outside of a LBX banner being in one of the Bandai toy shows or something in Europe or something like that I don't remember the details exactly but there is a chance we could be getting some LBX action in America but again it's kinda hard to tell whether we're gonna get the model kits or not because Model kits just don't sell well here. Um, if people don't know, I did get a job for seasonal at Toys R Us. And, I mean, our model section is, like, yay big. We have a couple. That's it. Uh, models just don't seem to do well in America. So, if anything, I think we're going to get some action figures based upon the show that might mix and match their parts. As opposed to actually building model kits. So, if you like model kits, uh, I would do recommend buying into the LBX line right now instead of waiting. But uh, who knows? I don't know. I'm just rambling because I want more people to watch uh, Damn Ball Sinky, basically. So, yep, uh, all this is going to get reviewed except for the deck box and these guys because I don't have Gavin yet. At uh, some point, oh, and the LBX, he's not getting reviewed because I don't do those. Um, again, still contemplating it, but I, right now I really want to get um, all the newer items pushed out and the backlog worked down a little bit before I start reviewing new stuff. Because uh, right now this is all more important to me. So, I've been rambling long enough. It has hit 15 minutes, so I'm just going to go. Um, okay, box on the way. Keep an eye on my blog to see when that gets here. And uh, keep an eye on the review schedule on shukanshobi.com so uh, you know what's coming up next, because that's important, I guess. So uh, take care, have a great one. As always, check out cstoysjapan.com for all your tokusatsu merchandise needs, and ridersrangersandrambles.com for the podcast, bringing the latest toku news and crazy as possible, because I edit that every week, and I want people to watch it, or listen to it, or whatever you do with podcasts. I guess you can kind of watch the album art change. It's not very exciting, though. Whatever. Take care and have a great one. Bye.